So this is the question that uh, Nam wrote. I recently came across a philosophy built around a very specific <coughs> inspirational method of thought. This system surmises that the universe is an impartial array of energy fields, constantly in flux or vibration. The same system of beliefs describes our thoughts along the same underpinning of vibratory energy. Without delineating this notion in terms of its physical implications, the basic premise holds that in order for us to achieve that which we truly desire, our thoughts must resonate in harmony with the universal resonance. More simply, our thoughts must vibrate on the same frequency of that we desire to attract. If this is indeed the case, please comment on the position you find yourself on your personal journey with respect to your true desires. All right. It's an interesting question. And um, what it really talks about when we're talking about this is, is, um, is substance and material. And the question really comes into is when uh, you see it coming across that way, was how does that substance and material apply? Uh, when he was asking me, it was also in, in my life personally. If you notice at the end of the question, he's talking about how do I apply this personally? And if I applied it differently, and if I applied these energies that we talk about differently, why am I not a millionaire? You know, why don't I have millions of dollars in the bank? So, uh, you know, so we're having this intimate conversation here. And, and that is a problem when you, when you actually start to come into a duality that I've been wrestling with uh, throughout my life. And the difference between substance and material and working on these energy fronts, you know, like you guys know how you can feel a person's energy, how you can understand what everything's made up of energy. So you can use that energy to, to do different things with. But I've chosen to use the energies and with conflict uh, to go more along the line, uh, more along the lines of substance instead of material. Material comes from the mind. Substance comes from the heart. And when you're wrestling with those two, you can see all the dilemmas that are happening in the world today. If you are acting out of your heart, we wouldn't have wars, we wouldn't have famine, we wouldn't have starvation, we wouldn't have prejudice. None of these things would exist. We wouldn't have uh, basically everything uh, collapsing that's happening today. We wouldn't have countries fighting other countries. We wouldn't have wars. And we wouldn't have, uh, just in our politics, the very fabric of what our nation is built on with our leaders fighting against each other. All the secrecy is how the Twin Towers fell. Committees and groups of organizations not coming together. There is a big difference between substance and material, heart and mind. Something that I've been wrestling with all my life, you know, the idea of energies. I always wanted to be real to who I was, to, to discover more of the being that I'm meant to become. And my teachings, what I deal with the martial arts, as far as using the material part of the martial art, I use it as a model. Right? As a model to, to really show through uh, the, the problems that we have in our lives. In other words, the problems that you have in your personal life or the problem you may have somebody physically attacking you. Where you have to force to defend yourself or where you're forced to defend your family or even if you want to come to the aid of somebody else. There was many times in my life that I could have shot off more in a material sense, dealing more with my mind. And the mind is a big process of it, because the conflict between mind and heart, substance and material, is a battle that you will always have to fight. That battle will always keep you constantly in the meditation. There's plenty of times I want to turn a student away, or move away from that student, because one, they're going to be very difficult to teach, and the other, is that they're very materialistic, very worried about, you know, uh, if they can afford the class, or if they could do this, or if they could do that. And you guys have known me that I don't do that, right? And the point of teaching from sincerity, teaching from your heart, versus teaching from your mind. Everything today is sport related. So if you look at uh, mixed martial arts, if you look at uh, 
surfaces, you know, trapeze artists, if you look at um, uh, gymnastics, everything is about competition. Everybody's there because they want to be watched with what they're doing, including, including us as well, to a certain degree. But the real thing uh, really comes into being, what really comes into to play is if you're practicing, if you're training from your heart, or are you training from your mind? If people are showboating or are looking, they have, they have a goal, and that goal can be to be the world champion, or that goal can be to be the best gymnast. And there's a lot of praise and a lot of things that are involved with that that come into play. Now that's the mind. I'm subject to that. Everybody's subject to that. But somewhere along the line, you have to find balance between the two if you truly want to grow. Now you guys have known I've been trying to grow this school for forever. And the reason it grows the way that it has grown and slowly as it's grown is because I truly try to teach it. Thank you.